Hi, my name is James Sanderson, and I'm the evangelism minister here at the Brown Street Church of Christ in Waxahachie, Texas. And I have a great desire to see the Lord's Church do better in the area of worship, especially during the Lord's Supper. Many times we don't spend the time that we should uh, on focusing on why we are here, why we worship God, and as we sit at his table and commune with him. And so I'm putting together a series of short devos to maybe broaden our thinking, to give us some maybe some other ideas that might be helpful to you, uh, maybe in small churches or just a, a preacher or evangelist somewhere that's uh, looking for new ideas to use at the Lord's Supper. So I pray you be blessed and let's get into the lesson today. I've entitled this, The Lord Will Provide. Now we know in the Old Testament there are many types or anti-types of Jesus. Pictures, images of Jesus in the Old Testament. And clearly here is one of them. And this is a story about Abraham and his son Isaac. So in Genesis 22, it says in verse 1, Sometime later God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Mor Moriah. Now hang on to that place, Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains and I will that I will tell you about. Early the next morning, Abraham got up, saddled his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. And he said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship, and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering, placed it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father Abraham, Father? Yes, my son. Abraham replied, The fire and the wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. When they reached the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bound his son Isaac, laid him on the altar, on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son, but the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. So there's just a picture for a visual. And you can see over here in the distance, the ram. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and there in the thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Where is that mount located at? Where is Mount Moriah at? Look where it's at. It's in Jerusalem. Right there. And we know what happened in Jerusalem. Jesus came and died right in that area. So 1,800 years later, the Lord provided. Isn't that amazing? On that very mountain. And that's what we're here to think about today. 
as we sit around the table, commune with our Lord, and remember what he has done for us. He provided himself, died for us, so that we can live. I pray this has helped you. God bless you. And may we all get closer in our worship towards God. We'll see you next time.